Hello. In this stream. I thought that was maybe going to be the new intro for the stream, but maybe not. Hello. How are you all? Carl is here. It's nothing too serious. I could see that Phil was getting a little bit worried. But because uh, Helen said Carl's got a what did Carl's got a problem or something? Yeah, Carl has a problem, and we are all now very intrigued as to what that problem was. But maybe maybe best not to ask. <laughs> hello, Easy Wire. Hello, Michelle. Good to see you. Hello, Damon. Is this your first time on, Damon? It may be. I think it might be. Hello, Bradbury. Hello, Ian. And hello to Carl, of course. And hello to Adam. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Helen, of course. First one in, as usual. Um. My chat only goes back to 8.03, so I don't know if anyone was in earlier than that. I think Helen was. And I, ha I don't have those chat messages for whatever reason. But yes, is that all the hellos done? Hello, Envias, aka Glenn, who I had a great chat with today um, on Skype. It is recorded, just needs to be edited up. But yeah, hopefully that video will be up tomorrow. We had a really good chat. Um, he's got a a number of uh, affiliate sites, uh, some of which are doing very well indeed. So yeah, we had a good chat about that. So yeah, look out for that. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Now last week, last week we hit nearly 100 concurrent viewers. I think we peaked at like 98 um, or something like that. So this week I'm hoping that we can smash three figures, three figures and do over 100 concurrent streams but who knows we'll see we'll see i think it all depends on the thumbnail maybe <laughs> hello tm jzl hello mark mark i did i did send out an email did you not receive one um let me just see if i received one um Hmm. Interesting. I don't see one. What's going on? Um. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, God. I may have inadvertently not pressed the send button. I'm just looking now and it's still in the outbox. Oh no. So there's my hopes of, of smashing um, 100 gone. And maybe I should, so should I send, I send it now? Maybe I should send it now. What do you think? Um, I could just reword it slightly. Let's, let's go, let's try it. Uh, bear with me a second. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. But I'll let you know I'm live. I wouldn't have thought Mailchimp would let me down. It's my own button pressing that's let me down here. What should I say? Come and join me right now. Maybe no, it might work. It might work even better. Here we go. I'm sending it. Just change this button. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't work if you press the send button. Bradbury, there is an email. You need to join on the list. Um, if you're not already, you can do so over on wpeagle.com, and then you won't miss out on anything. Uh, 
Okay, I'm sending it. It's probably uh, got typos and whatever because I've just rushed something <laughs> together. But you yeah, never know. Right, it's gone. Yeah, I was in a bit of a rush this morning doing lots of things and yeah, and I obviously forgot to press send, but I've sent it now. So let me know if it's hit your mailbox. Hopefully it'll send, it'll get there pretty quick. <laughs> and you never know, we'll, we'll see a big spike. Maybe. Right, let's get back to the chat. I've just missed a load of chat, obviously I'm just gonna scroll up. Adam King just did 100 press ups, so I'll definitely pass 100 views today. That is reassuring. 100 press ups, that is a lot. I, I'm i impressed with that. I can do maybe 30 if I'm lucky. Hello, Sean. Sean, I think it's your site we're going to be looking at this evening. This tea is too hot to drink right now. Let's put it down again. And then it'll probably be too cold to drink. But hey, that's, that's the thing with tea, isn't it? It's too hot, it's too cold. When you get that cup that's just right, oh, it's the best thing ever. Do you use click funnels to make your other affiliate sites? No, I've never used a click funnel. I can't say I've ever used a click funnel. Easy wire, what are you going to learn today? You're going to learn loads today, possibly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you for your support. I have sent the email, it's on its way to you right now. Josh says, Anthony, hello, sorry. Just missed, just seen Anthony there. Hello, Anthony, good to see you. And hello, JP, good to see you as well. Josh, hello to you, Josh. Josh asks, what's your opinion on pillar content and would you tell me a bit more? E.g., how many words, how many articles and how do you know what is pillar content? Pillar content is important. Pillar content is, well, let's get on the computer and I'll see, see what we can, uh, we can do. <laughs> Let me see if I've actually got an example of pillar content on Best Read Box. I'm sure I have. I'm just trying to think of one. Do a little, uh, a little transition. So pillar content is basically just a really big, important article that covers lots of things. It's like an in-depth uh, guide. Um, let me see what we've got. Let me make me a little smaller as well. I'm a little bit big, a little bit too big. A little fade like that. Wait, there we go. So, um, where's a good example of a Content. But basically, yeah, it's a really long article, an in-depth article on, on a particular topic that then has other articles that are probably shorter kind of linking to it and they're linking between. So um, I'm looking for that Thule one. Was that the one? This one. I've got a feeling this is a kind of pillar content. So this is a quite a long article. Okay, yeah. So it's one that covers a lot. It's cover. It covers a big subject. So it's this is all about Thule boxes, and it's made up of lots of different subjects, which are all connected and all related. And in fact, each one of these can be its own article, and it uh, can be an article in its own right. That makes sense. So a pillar of content. You ask how many words? It's probably at least five thousand words, maybe. But generally, it's about a bigger subject. I'm just trying to think of another example that's not in this niche. So say, for example, I'm, this is off the top of my head, so it might not be, be that accurate, but say, for example, I did an article on WP Eagle um, about choosing a WordPress theme, for example. And in the article, I talked about e-commerce themes and blogging themes, photography themes, uh, all lots of different themes uh, types in one article, but then, 
around that article, I would have some other articles. So how to, you know, what are the best photography themes, how to work with a photography theme, and then that would link back to the pillar article. I'm doing a really bad at explaining this, aren't I? Is anyone else able to help me here? <laughs> Anthony, I'll say chance you get VAs to create timestamps for your live streams. I could do. I just need a VA. I don't have a VA at the moment, but yeah. It could be a good little job. Probably very useful. Awesome, I says, what do you think of doing AdSense arbitrage with your site? I don't, I wouldn't consider doing that at all. In that driving traffic with ads in order to make some profit with AdSense, we're looking at the kind of money you make with AdSense. I can't really see how that would uh, how that would work, but I, I, get, I hear people can do it, but that sounds like hard work. Did I, I feel like I didn't explain pillar content right. It's, it's a really strong article, so um, let's see if I've got another one. Uh, these are shorter, aren't they? So I see I've got, I could do a pillar content around you know, traveling with your ski gear, because I've got quite a few articles on skiing. So I could do a really long article on traveling with your ski gear, the best places to go, um, you know, great road trips for skiers, that kind of thing. And then from there, I could link off to my other smaller articles about, you know, the best ski racks for snowboards, the best ski racks, uh, the best route boxes for snowboards and skis, um, how to transport a snowboard on your car, all these things, and they would link to the pillar article, but also the pillar article would link back to those smaller ones. Maybe if you Google pillar articles, you'd get a better exploration than what I'm struggling to, to portray right now. Uh, hello, Spiro, good to see you. Are you new as well? Good. If I miss your question, then I do apologize. Don't take it personally. It's just that the, the chat has kind of gone past me and I've missed it. Sean's using car service. Great. Yeah, I'm, my articles are starting to appear on here. They're all um, being edited right now. They're in my posts waiting to be published, so they should be up this week. Daniel says, what's your favorite tea, black, green, or herbal? The traditional breakfast black tea is my favorite. There does seem to always be one thumbs down, Damon, but there's not right now, but you can make that happen. Yeah, so these are some of Carl's articles here. They're all pending and getting ready. Um, we could preview. I don't know if they're quite ready yet, but nearly. Great headlines from Carl as well. Still need a little bit of formatting and whatever, but they're getting there, they are getting there. Of course, full video on these coming up soon. I'm gonna be doing the site reviews any minute now. Josh is drinking milk, you you are a bad British person. <laughs> Question of the week. Do I use affiliate Amazon affiliate link to my YouTube descriptions? Sometimes, not very often, I really should. I should link to all my camera gear and stuff. People keep telling me. Um, Hello, Tom, good to see you as well. So yeah, Sean's been using Carl's service. Use the case study on here if you'd like to. Yeah, that'd be good, Sean, why not? How do you do proper niche research, especially if you're new to Amazon affiliate blogging? Niche research is just really doing some searches on Google and having a look at what people are searching for. Is there much demand? Are there many terms coming up? So, you know, uh, how to fit a roof box. Looking at the kind of questions here that come up. Ah, I'm logged in, aren't I? <laughs> and looking at what the competition's like. 
Uh, are they big sites? Are they small affiliate type sites as well that you could compete with? Are their articles any good? Are they long? Are they short? Is there you know gaps missing in the information that's out there? And it's kind of once you put all that together, you get a picture in terms of whether a niche is going to be a good one. But ultimately, ultimately, you don't know really. However much research you do, you just simply don't know until you jump in, start working on your site, start publishing content, and then really see how it goes. And you know, sometimes we've heard stories on here before, sometimes it doesn't work out and you have to throw the towel in after six months, after 12 months, because it's just not happening and you're in, a, in the wrong niche. And that, that happens and you learn from it and you move on. Richard says, um, how did I create the terms of service page? This whole thing. I use the company. I just bought one. Um, I'm sure. Let me see if I can find the company that did it. Um, I mention it in my SEO video, the one with Phil, where we give away the fantastic um, spreadsheet. Let me just find it. Um, buh, 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 buh. That ACO video doesn't hasn't done as well as I thought it would, you know. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I don't have an affiliate link for these guys, but I'll put it in. It's Docular, Docular.net. Posting it now into the chat. They did a, they bought one of them. Mark says, one of the products on my site, I want to change it to give more options. Is it okay to copy the product and add the new options and delete the original product? Is that using WooZone? That might cause an issue if you do that. Josh says, my niche is reptiles. Hello, Marion, by the way. And hello, Walt. Good to see you. And Misha. Josh says, my niche is reptiles. So would my pillar content be like, what is a reptile and general content on snakes and lizards? And then normal posts are like care guides and each species. Exactly, yeah. I think generally pillar articles cover, a, they, they're more, they're slightly more broad. But then they have lots of related smaller articles linking to them and linking off them. That's kind of how I see it. Cornerstone content, another, another word for it. Adam says, have you gone for a 900 litre keyword, a uh, roofbox keyword? No. How much traffic are you getting in a month, mate? I will show you in a second. We'll do a little roofbox update in a minute and then we'll jump into the site reviews. If you guys would stop asking me questions. <laughs> no, keep asking the questions, but I might have to just stop looking at the chat for a minute. Okay, so Carl says, and he's an expert here, so Carl says usually the pillar post is around three to 6,000 words long. Within that article, we link out smaller articles that have relevance to the main pillar post. All articles must link back to the main article. That's kind of what I said, but Carl said it in a much more succinct and clearer way. Damon says, I need a new idea to you for, I need a new idea to use for my domain, dogbargains.com, as from a tenure last year, I found that there are tons of dog sites in need a different direction, yeah. Oh. I'd sell the domain. It's probably worth a few quid. It sounds good. Anthony says, anyone know of an auto uh, linking affiliate ID plugin for WordPress yet that automatically inserts through? There's a few that do that. But I can't think of one on top of my head. Mamey, hello. Hoddle the oddle. That's a crypto crypto guy. Hi, I sell hosting and I'm thinking of starting an affiliate program to help me sell hosting domains. Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah. You have to be very generous though if you're selling hosting because a lot of the hosting affiliate programs pay really well. I like rank math, says JP. We all like rank math at the moment. Jamie says, I know you specialize in affiliates, but any chance you'd be able to look at my dropshipping store? Yeah, sure. Put it in the chat, we'll have a look. 
Anthony asks, does anyone know if Rank Math outperforms Yoast? Phil might know that in terms of uh, page speed. What is the best and the profitable business that you have now? Uh, this one, the YouTube and um, best roof box. Uh, the best roof box is not profitable just yet, but it is. It is going to be. <laughs> Sean says, "I remember drinking tea. I've got to go to bed soon. On treadmill at four a.m. Why are you on the treadmill at four a.m., Sean? Hello, Fix. Happy New Year to you as well. Okay, Sean, let's have a look at your site now. Let's do that now. Uh, here we go." So we have seen this one before. We have seen it before. Oh, hang on, let me uh, share my screen, that will help. You can't even see it. I forgot I'd made myself big. So the gazebo waits. I still think you need the word gazebo in your logo. Did I say that last time? Because I think you do. Now you also are, Sean, if people could do a little search for gazebo weights on either google.co.uk or google.com, and then he's gonna report back in very different. So Sean, do you want people to actually click through to your site as well? I'm guessing that you're trying to increase your click-through rate from Google, which may have an effect on your rankings. Clear my cash, okay, I can clear my cash. Cash is cleared. Still looks the same. Yeah, so Sean, yeah, wants people to do a search for gazebo weights, find gazeboweights.com, give it a click, and let's manipulate those search results. Don't tell Google. Whatever you do, don't tell Google. JCR, quick question, does the Amazon tool one link redirect users in other countries to the same product in their own Amazon marketplace? Yes, it does, and you will receive commission if they order, but you have to be signed up as an affiliate on that particular country site. So if you know Amazon.de, you need to be an affiliate on Amazon.de. I like this question, what shape are your gazebo legs? Round, round and square legs. I think I don't know about the formatting. These are like they're they're not all lined up, and that's not making that making me feel sad. But then that's just me. How well is the site doing now, Sean? Because it is certainly a very niche niche. That's for sure. Phil says he got the redirection to a dodgy site, Sean. What do you mean, Phil? TMJZL, sorry I missed your question. Can you use Facebook ads for affiliate marketing? You can, but you've got to be really careful that you don't um, end up spending more than you can make. I would advise that you don't use any ads for your affiliate site and you try and focus on creating content and trying to get um, organic rankings. Sean went to a survey, let me see what's going on here. Gazebo weights. Uh, I don't see your site. Ah, here we go. I didn't get a survey. Sure, no commissions at the moment because he's out of season. Paul is getting obsessed with the optimal URL. That can happen. Damon, yeah, coffee. I like coffee only in the morning. This time of night, it's too late for coffee. So, Sean, yeah, I like the site. I do. I. It's got a certain feel to it that I think could be improved. It just it feels like it just needs a little bit of polish to me. A little bit of polish. I don't know what that is. It's it's to do with design and stuff like this and this. 
uh, row are the same size, but this one is not, and these don't line up, and you know, little things like that. Other than that, it's fine. But I think little things like that could really just improve the look and feel a little bit. Um, and this this box needs to be smaller or bigger, or this needs to move up, I think, because these two lines are not quite in the middle. Little design things that are just doing my head a little bit. But other than that, I think the niche is great. I think there should be gazebo in the in the logo. Um, it's a very, very simple site. That's for sure. I'm wondering if that's enough to get you ranking where you want to rank. So a lot of people are saying that they're getting some sort of weird survey thing coming up. Um, I'm not. I don't know why that is. Let me just try again. Phil's saying he's definitely getting the dodgy link. This one here, yeah? Try it in Safari. Okay. There we go. We got we got the old Safari here. Oh, a, a Gabo. Wait, that's no, no, no. <laughs> well, you're getting a lot of CTR here. I, I hope this helps. You, you do. We'll have to report back. Ah. Uh, no, I'm not seeing anything dodgy. That's weird, but worth getting your site checked anyway. Tux the penguin says it looks a tad dated design. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I hope that was useful, Sean. Are waterweights for gazebos any good? Are you getting rank on this? I think this is your main people, isn't it? Gazebo jungle, they, they come up a lot. You're ranking, you are ranking. So more content, definitely more content. I mean, I don't know how much you can write about gazebo weights. And I'm not sure whether you've gone too niche, maybe too niche, but you know, I don't know. If you're going to keep it simple and you and you get rankings, then it probably is going to be a very low kind of overhead site, isn't it? Oh yeah, of course, Gazebo Jungle is your site. I thought it was familiar. I see so many sites. <clears throat> so Gazebo Jungle seems to be doing well as well. Ah, yeah, there you are, Sean. See, this looks better. Your table's all lined up there. Walt says, I mean, do we think a premium domain, aka a .com, does not really matter at all in 2020? I think it still does matter. I think if you can get a .com, it's, it's preferred. Is it normal to rank over the picture videos? It depends on the search term. I think for the weights thing, I think maybe some of these articles are a little bit too broad. They should be very weight related. So it's howling with wind outside at the moment. So, you know, how to secure your gazebo on a windy day. Um, the water weights, good one. Um, how do you store metal weights? I don't know. How do you clean rusty iron weights? That kind of thing. And you've got a few that are more general, but I think if you just really focused on the weight stuff, then that would be better. And then put your other articles on Gazebo Jungle. Okay, let's have a look at Adam's site. How long did the gazebos last? Last one then, short. Sure. 
Ah, yeah, look at that snippet. Wow, we like that. And there as well. But surely you'd want this to come through to your gazebo jungle. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're absolutely right. If someone is looking for gazebo weights, he's got it nailed. Anyway. I don't know what that want is there for. Indoor home garden. Look at this side. This side looks good. Looks familiar as well. I like it. That board is too thick. <laughs> Maybe. I like the I like the imagery. I like everything. It's it's nice. I don't know if you've got too much excerpt. It's looking a little bit lumpy. But let's take a look. Ten simple indoor garden activities for seniors. Oh. Oh, I like your contents. Looking good. What's that? Which plugin are you using for that one? The Crest Heads. Lovely articles. Nice icons, videos, images. Dividers that are, are related. How well is this site doing, Adam? Mohammed asks, how many times can we place a main keyword in an article and how many times LSI keyword and where can we place? You can place your keyword as many times as you like, but you don't want to overdo it. It should read and flow naturally. Two months old, so nothing yet, but this site does show great potential. Wow, you, you've got some random keywords here. Ah, oh, succulent safe for hamsters. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's have a look. Why is there a hamster post on a garden block? Oh, wow, but you're still ranking, there we go. You're in amongst the hamster um, sites. Yeah. Uh, you, the snippet's not coming up for me, but that doesn't mean it's not coming up for everyone. Is that your image? Yeah, you got the image result there as well. I hope you got it licensed, otherwise they'll come get you. I think your site's got great potential. I think their niche is interesting. Um, I don't know. What do plants do at night? They go to the pub, don't they? They watch TV. What an interesting question. Um, you've got some interesting articles. I'm wondering if you're maybe kind of diversifying a little bit too far, you know, hamsters and freezing herbs, but I don't know. I don't really know the niche very well. Maybe that's the, the right thing to do. What do plants do at night? Never really thought about it. But yeah, I think you've got some great Great idea. I see that you've put the affiliate thing over there, which I guess is fine. That should cover you. Good looking uh, about us. <laughs> Good, well done Adam. Do keep us up to date. We'll maybe have another look at it in six months, see where you're at and how much money it's earning. Did I just see another site come through the chat? It's Carl that's doing a search term service. Well, I think you've already read that though, haven't you?
I don't know, I think there may have been another site, but I can't see it now. If there was, then just put it in the chat again and we'll try and catch it. Okay, yeah, succulents. There was the site on Income School, they did that big case study. That was a succulent site, wasn't it? And the, the lady was earning tons of money on it. Oh, here we go, I found it, I found it. Misha's. I'm not sure, is it allustudio.co.uk? I've got a couple more as well sites on the list to do, so we'll get through these. Uh, was it? Uh, what have I got wrong here? All you studio, uh, uh, the dot, that's what I've got wrong. Uh, no. Misha, maybe just confirm what I'm doing here, if you're still in the chat, hopefully you are. We're up to 77 concurrent uh, viewers. Did you get the email, by the way? Um, I haven't got it yet. Oh, no. Yeah, I have. Take out the word. Oh, God. The word DOS. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear. That's better. Everyone is now wondering what plants do at night. <laughs> it just conjures up images of all the plants getting together at night when everyone's asleep and they creep out of the house, and go uptown, and hit the club. So this looks nice. There's some very bright buttons here. We're glad we can scroll past that horrible GDPR cookie whatever thing. Initial impressions looks good. So what we're we dealing with here is it a Woo Zone site by looks of it. Toothbrush Life by Kelly Hancock, RDH. Hello, Kelly. Uh, I go live every Tuesday at the same time, this time, every Tuesday, so yeah. Send it over and we can maybe have a look at it next week. So this is a WooZone site. My, my first impression is, my first impression is that it looks really good, but my other slight fear is that it's covering lots of things. If you think about the site, we're just looking at the gazebo weights one very, very, Specialized, very specific, ranking well for very specific things about zebra weights. This, I mean, what are you going to rank for? You know, what are people going to be searching for? Because, yeah, maybe some of the products you might get some long tail searches for. But it's going to be this kind of content that's probably going to draw you in, uh, draw visitors in. So you need to do some research and think about that. People do need help with buying clothes, definitely. Men, especially. Um, so it's gonna be those kind of articles. Um, what to wear. Ta -da! <laughs> There's a whole load of article ideas. That kind of thing, I think, will work well. Although, I'm guessing that there's gonna be a lot of competition in this. Just just my gut feeling is telling me there's gonna be but maybe not. You know, Assos is quite a big site, but you can fashion beans, they're quite big as well. But it's kind of fashion retail sites there, so I'm wondering there may be an opportunity there for you to come in. Whether you need WooZone, I don't know. You'd have to look at your analytics and things to see if WooZone is working for you. But I'm wondering if maybe um just a a blog, a focused blog would work well and, and probably bring in the blog more to the front of the site. Drop all this stuff down and get your articles up there would, would probably benefit you more in the long run.
I will do Avi Aviesh Av Avishek. I'll do your site now. And then I've got two on my list, and then that's it for site reviews. For this week. We'll do some more next week. So yeah, this one I'm worried about the niche. Other than that, the site looks good and you need more content. Love for the life. Now this one, Indian, I'm guessing, although it is in English, which I guess is fine. I think if you're an affiliate in India, you've got a huge opportunity for you because there's not that many other sites and I think the competition is low. So this looks again is a fashion and a lifestyle type site, very similar to one we looked at last, but you can see this is focused on content. So top three jackets from Amazon you can buy to look extremely sexy. Maybe I need a new jacket. Pulled in some Amazon reviews there. I think that's okay, is that okay? I think that's okay. You do have to be careful with that kind of stuff. You may have over egged these jackets a little bit when you said extremely sexy, but hey. <laughs> You're definitely on the right lines. I, I think the site looks good. It might, it maybe got a little bit too much going on. I don't know, There's a, my eye is being drawn all over the place. There's ads going on, lots of ads. Um, but I think if you start researching your co your content properly, people say people, especially men, do need help choosing clothes and stuff. I think this has got great potential. And as you're in India, I think you've got the advantage. I think a site like this in the UK or in the US would would be a lot harder in terms of the competition. Sean, what do you mean when you say no, it's not, I don't think, I don't know what you were replying to, I get lost. Keep posting content on this one though, I don't know how much you've got up here right now. Thank you, Walt for the super chat, really appreciate that. 88 pence, micro date payment, thank you. Oh, Sean, you're, you're talking about the reviews, yeah. Uh, unless they're pulled in by the plugin API, you've broken a T's and C's, yeah. I guess even a screen grab is against the, um, the rules there, I, I thought it might be. Right, let's have a look at another site, because I'm conscious of time is racing on. Concurrent viewers, 81. I don't think we're gonna get that 100, are we? What can we do? We need to go and drum up some more people. So this site is a client site. It's not an affiliate site, and it's created by the one and only Phil. WordPress Eagle regular Phil, also my server manager, has put this together for a client. And say it's, for, it's not an affiliate site, it's just a business site. For Barbara and Nails in South Croydon, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, it is one dollar fourteen in US dollars. I can just see on my screen it's in pounds, which is eighty-eight pence, which is fine, which is great. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of the support that I get from you guys, however big or small. Sean, enjoy your treadmill. So we expect this site to be good because. It's Phil's and he's, he's obviously done a bit of SEO. We can see that he's got the keywords up the top here. We just drag that over there. South Croydon Barber and Nail Salon, perfect. Yeah, goodbye, Sean. Thank you for letting me look at your site again. I'm wondering maybe we should have a chat sometime, Sean, on Skype, and catch up a bit more, bit more in detail. Anyway, my initial reaction to the site is that this header is too, too tall. It's like taking up nearly half the, the page there. Um, 
I don't know. What do you what do you think? The, the, the header and logo maybe. We can drop it down a bit. I can only take it down so much. But I'm just thinking, yeah, I think that would look better. With less header. Don't want too much header. What do you think? Is Phil still here, in fact? Phil, are you, are you there? Make yourself known. Yeah, it looks like you are. Um, so yeah, I don't smoke that. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. What I always think with a barber, because you know, it generally it looks like it looks professional, nice. I think the client's going to love it. The client's going to love it. What 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 theme is this? Is my little plugin not working anymore? It's not bringing anything up. Ah. So yeah, a couple of things. I mean, I like the gallery. So just a couple of thoughts. I mean, they're not they're not directly related to the design site. The design site looks fantastic. It looks great. They're going to love it. They've. I don't know if that's a stock image or whatever, but the imagery is really good. Um, Twelve pound, the same price as my barber. This looks like it needs a little bit more margin. This text and this table looks a little bit too near the top. But then, I don't even know, I'm not a graphic designer, am I? I don't know what I'm even saying, really, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, a couple of thoughts on the barber. First thing is, if they're using Instagram, which they probably are, because barbers love taking pictures of people having haircuts, might be cool to pull that in. Very easy to do with a plugin, pull in the Instagram feed. And the second thing, which I think barbers don't have enough of, is um, is a webcam. Because when I'm thinking about going to the barbers, I just don't want to turn up there and there'll be another eight or nine people sitting down waiting for a haircut because I'm just, yeah, I'm not even going to bother going in. I'm going to go home again. But I think that a barber should um, have a webcam so that if I'm thinking about going to the barbers, I can just come to site, have a look at the webcam, see that there's only one person sitting in the waiting room, but then zoom down there because they're only at the top of my road, and get a haircut. Just a thought. Phil, get in there, hook them up a webcam. Sell them a webcam. And my other comment on this site, there's a couple of comments. First is the name. Is that the name of the barber's Beauty King? Because I've never heard of a barber with the word beauty in it. It's just not very manly. They're always called like double edge or, you know, jagged edge or... A cut above the rest, um, Smith and Watkins, that kind of thing. Like if it's a hipster place. <laughs> so I'm not sure about the name, and I'm also, again, this is my personal opinion. I don't like domain names with hyphens in them. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't know why. What do you think about hyphens in a domain name? I don't know. I think it's just it's, the worst is when you someone says, "Oh, what's your website?" and you have to say, "Oh, the website is beauty-king.co.uk." It's just this is my opinion. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's the name of the company. It's a man and wife outfit. I guess it was her idea. I guess it was. She thought, "I'll do the beauty. The missus can come in. The guy can go and says, have a haircut." I guess so. It is it is kind of confusing now when you kind of dig into it. How many guys, the guy is going in there for a haircut, a shave, and to get his nails done? That that's that's I mean in 2020 that's perfectly normal, especially probably in South Croydon. But uh, I don't know. Glenn says or Envia says he likes a hyphen in his main name. There we go. Hello, JJ. Good to see you. 
Walt says that hyphens are pure evil. So, you know, we're getting different opinions. It's, they are all opinions, of course. Everything that I say is my opinion. Everything in the chat is just an opinion. And you've got to take all the opinions, opinions on board and, and make your own judgments. Tosh doesn't like the hyphen either. Anyway, Pang, this is your site, finally. This was submitted on Facebook earlier today. We were talking about tea earlier, now this one is coffee. Let me just close these tabs. Coffeesamurai.com, which is a great domain name. MMK Venture says it's a bit easier in the US because people say dash rather than hyphen. Americans always messing around with the English language. Anyway, um, it probably does sound better if you say dash, but yes, yeah, still, no one really likes any URL. Yeah, people are saying they don't like it, but sometimes you can't get a domain name without one. It's true. So this is all about coffee, which, again, my initial reaction would be, that's quite a competitive, busy niche, but you never know. I've not done any research, that's just my initial opinion. Yeah. Phil, you can't change their company name now, it's just us, us having a bit of a, a laugh about it, really. So initial look and feel looks good. These tabs are kind of cool. They look like they should be kind of individual articles to me. Maybe I don't know what that is, why you need that. What kind of coffee machine? Why can I not highlight the text? Right click, okay, there's a lot of Java obviously going on here. I don't know what, what what's going on, but I can't highlight anything. That, that annoys me. Um, I guess it's to stop people copying stuff. Oh, I do apologize if you're buffering. My my broadband is struggling to keep up, I guess. Hey, I've got that coffee machine, it's very nice. Hello, I'll take good to see you. I think the site's got everything going for it. Uh, you're doing everything right, you just need to create more articles. It looks like you've done research. Looks like you've added lots of articles already. What's that Heston guy doing? What's he doing with that coffee machine? He's selling it, is he? Uh, ooh, coffee on the face, is that a good idea? I don't know. Yeah, I think the site looks good. It's lots of content. I mean, I don't know what more to say. Maybe you need to adjust this page title, Coffee Samurai, your go-to site for anything coffee probably needs to include like coffee guides or coffee articles or learn about coffee. Some other keywords that are useful. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the stream. It says I've got an excellent connection to YouTube. Uh, it's my missus streaming stuff downstairs on the telly maybe. See, my one concern with this is just the niche, but I, I I don't know, maybe coffee is something that you could get into. Okay, let's do a quick search. So this is the competition. It's affiliate. Their site is kind of nice, simple, and very, very quick. I like this. Get the, get the links in quick, that's nice. So that's the competition. They got two, um, they got the snippet and there. Another, um, another, another.
another affiliate site. This is on quite a long tail search as well. Is that an affiliate site? Yes, I'd say so. Uh, T3, that sounds like a, that's a big site, isn't it? So my one fear, though the site looks lovely, you've added lots of content, you're doing everything right, the independent, that's a big site. And maybe you're targeting um, the US, so these results are irrelevant. Anyway, but there looks like there's a lot of competition. That's gonna be an affiliate site as well, isn't it? This is what we were talking about earlier when you're kind of doing your niche research. That looks the same as the other one. You're doing your niche research. When you're looking at this, you can see there's big sites coming up. And mixed upon those big mixed in with those big sites is there lots there's lots of affiliate sites like this one that doesn't look as good as yours but it's still ranking well so you know I mean it's fine but it just means you've got to produce better content than these guys yeah if I'm looking blurry adjust your quality settings down the bottom of YouTube if you're on auto it might have dropped you down to 240 or 144 or something crank it back up to 720 or 1080 HD, and you'll see my very poor complexion in, in lots of detail. Anyway, that's enough site reviews, I think. Hello, Leslie, I didn't say hello to you. Hello, and hello, Whisperhub, good to see you. And hello, Ian, Ian, who I always forget to say hello to. Hello to you. So, before I go, let me do it. I'll do you a quick live update on Best Roof Box. What do you think? Why not? I don't have I looked today at the figures. I don't even know if I look myself. Let's have a look. Carl says he was just uh, searching around the other day and he looked at medium.com and they get over 40 million views a month organically. Just shows the potential of any site. That'll be you soon, Carl, as Phil has said. Walt says, question I have not seen discussed before, so whether it's coffee or vitamins or anything that can be refilled on a monthly delivery Amazon subscription, do affiliates continue to get paid monthly? I don't think so. With some companies, yes, but most affiliate companies or most affiliate payments are one-off. A bit like with the hosting. So, you know, when I recommend SiteGround and companies like that, I get paid once, even if you renew every year. Right, I'm just getting some figures out. I'm just doing it. I Hopefully, I'm, no, you can't see my screen because <laughs> I don't want to sh share any client stuff, you know, the usual. I think we're okay. Last one. Helen says, don't forget to cl click the thumbs up. Please do. We peaked at, well, we're at 74 now. I think we peaked at, what did we peak at? Uh, 80, 81. <laughs> Josh says, have you ever made a fit site where SEO isn't the main form of traffic? Mm, I did like Labrador feed back in the day, which was a kind of, uh, trying to be a bit of a viral site. I think with social media though, it's work, a lot of work, isn't it? Like you have to do on an ongoing basis. So. If it says, what do you think, WP, or YouTube or Amazon these sites, which is more profitable on the short long run? Well, you can use YouTube to promote your Amazon stuff, can't you? I think in the long term, you're gonna to wanna to find um, affiliate programs from other companies that aren't Amazon. Mark, I don't think you can change products. If it's a variable product, you can import it as a variable product, or if it's a simple product, you can import it as a simple product. I think if you start messing with them in WooZone, it screws it up. So. Here's my AHREFs. 
everything is still in the green keywords up to 2.2 thousand keywords now we're ranking for even things like roofbox starting to claw up now position 11 so that's top of page two ski roofbox position three best roofbox up to position four now and of course all these long tail ones they're all kind of climbing up so that's good in terms of traffic let's have a look let's get my dates right last 30 days Wow, look at that. We had a day that was the same as the day previous or the month previous. Generally, things are on the up. We're up 49% at the moment. Still growing. Though this seems to have flattened out a little bit. It's not kind of going up as much as it is. But I've got a whole, as much as it was, I should say. I've got a whole lot more content, as you saw, that just needs to be published. So that should give that a boost. David says, do you have any other recommendations for other affiliate programs that are not Amazon? It depends on your niche. If you're in, you know, pets, whatever, dogs, find a good dog retailer. You know, in the UK, it'd be Pets at Home, for example. They're a big retailer. I'm sure they've got an affiliate program. Just find the merchant you want. So if it is Pets at Home. And generally, if you go down to their footer, they have a link to an affiliate program, which I can't see, which they obviously uh, haven't got in their foot. <laughs> Maybe you have to Google it. Here we go. So I can join over here on something on the Raku to an affiliate network. So yeah, just kind of find another retailer that, that, that does the products that are in your niche. I could join up for Pets Direct, you see, as well. They've got an affiliate one. In like up to 20%, which is way more than um, Amazon. Alex, is there some competitor in the roof box market that is your main competitor? Yeah, there's a few like uh, gearing out, a few more kind of general outdoorsy sites. I've got quite a few uh, areas covered. I might do a video on, on the competition soon. Anyway, let's have a look. So yeah, the traffic is still good. And if we look at acquisition, it's being slow. Um, Paul says, how much content does your site have now? Let's have a look. It's got 70 published at the moment. But then I, I've got another eight here that I'm going to put up very soon. They're all just draft and pending, ready to go. Analytics seems to have stopped working. Okay. Organic search is up 75%. So all those articles are really starting to kick in now. So let's have a look at the earnings, shall we? This month we're up to 202. is pretty good. Last 30 days, 428. So I'm reckoning if we carry on at this kind of rate, and once I get my new articles up, then I might be able to do 400 this month. Which would be better than last month. Maybe more, 500. What do you think, 500? Where are we at in the month? We are about halfway through, aren't we? But you know, the level of clicks is looking really healthy and People are ordering stuff every single day. All sorts of things. What have they ordered the last seven days? Let's have a look. Uh, 
a wrinkle resist resistant backdrop, an iPhone 8, 256 gig, someone's ordered two of those. <laughs> There's a roof box, a Yakima. Some Ralph Lauren and stuff. Key holder, another cargo box, sunglass holder. Store your board hoist for storing your cargo box. Wireless charger, some yoga pants. Whoa, it's some random stuff in there. Abhishek says, how do you drive traffic to your site? It's all organic search, pretty much. If you look here, organic search makes up for 76% of the traffic. The next popular one is uh, direct, but then bear in mind that, and that's actually in decline, that probably the majority of these guys are coming from YouTube. They're people that have seen my video and then they come up on the site. So probably not really gonna count them. The key thing here is the organic search, a little bit from social. Again, that is gonna be WP Eagle related. Referral, well that does count because they're from other sites. And if we have a look at that, Wilson Auto Detailing, that's a car related site. Hmm, I can't see the link to me, but I, I guess there was one somewhere. Anyway, so yeah, it's all organic. How much time does it take for a site to start earning? Give it at least six months, maybe nine months, maybe 12 months, it really depends. But you should start to get your first couple of pennies within six months, I'd say, if, you, if you're doing everything right and if you're adding content on a regular basis. But yeah, I'll do obviously a full update on Best Root Books at the end of the month, I'll do a video and, and we'll see where we're at. But yeah, I'm, I'm confident I need to get those articles up. I mean, they just need a, little, a few little tweaks and then they'll be ready. Anyway, I think it's about time to go to bed. <laughs> I don't know about you, but um, it's getting late here. It might not be getting late where you are. So let's have one last transition. And I'll look at you over there. I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. I've enjoyed it. I feel like I should have... Um, explained pillar articles better but you know i did my best i've got a video for you ho hopefully tomorrow if all goes well although um yeah i've got a few other bits and bobs on tomorrow but i will try and get it edited up tomorrow it's my interview or skype call um with one of you guys with nvs who was in the chat earlier otherwise known as glenn who's got some uh, affiliate sites one of them is earning more than best root box a month so Definitely worth talking to him. He shares some great tips. So I'll try and get that video up. But yeah, thank you all. Uh, thank you to all my regulars, of course, Carl and Helen, Phil, uh, Ian, and all the other moderators. I think that was all of them. No sign of R7 or Stephanie tonight, which is a shame, of course. But yeah, thank you all for joining me on this Tuesday, uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Leslie, for as well, and JP, and all the other regulars. Yeah, Walt says, it's weird that in America, this all seems a bit more enjoyable with Alex's British accent. I am got an accent. What you're talking about, Governor? Call blimey apples and pears. I don't have a British accent. I speak the Queen's English. <sighs> I'm glad you find my accent refreshing. It's a it's a good staple kind of Bedfordian accent. We, you know, where I live in the UK, we're kind of bang smack in the middle, we're as far from the coast as we can be. And I don't think that this area of the country actually has a, a regional accent as such, but obviously it does. Maybe no one themselves knows they've got an accent, they can only hear other people's. You know, if you spread out to the other areas of the country, Norfolk or Suffolk or Devon, Cornwall, go up north, Newcastle, the accents are so strong, you can barely understand what they're talking about. Anthony says, Alex, do you get more commission when you sell just your stuff or is it the same if they bought another roof box that you didn't link them to? I think you get your proper rate of commission on the product that you link to. Other stuff is at a lower commission rate if I remember correctly. Yeah, 
Jag says, crap, I missed it. Never mind, if you missed it, you can watch it again. In fact, even if you didn't miss it, you can watch it again. It'll be available to, to watch a few minutes after to uh, after I finish, which will be in a few minutes. Josh, am I done for spending £31 on five domains just for a rainy day so I don't get taken? No, we've all done that. I still do that, in fact. I spend a fortune. GoDaddy are continuously debiting my bank account. Yes, Discord. I'm let me I'm going to add a to do on Discord right now and I'll get it set up maybe this week. I'm going to put some exclamation marks after it so that I do remember. Yep, that's on the to-do list, ready to go. Okay, if I need help with that, I'll get in touch, Josh. Did I buy my YouTube button? It's only a sticker. That's, that's a sticker, which I got from just a sticker site. I've not been awarded a proper YouTube button yet. I need 100,000, that's the, that's the goal. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Five, thank you all for your support. If you did enjoy it, do click the like button. We haven't got any dislikes tonight. That's that's a first, I think. Thank you, Tosh. Good night to you too. Buenas noches. Adios. We're going to, we're going to do Spanish again, Helen. <laughs> we can do. Five, four, three, two. Uh, my fingers aren't working. I'm starting to get pain in my fingers. Maybe arthritis. Is that a niche? No, it's health. It's health. Don't go near it. But yeah, this one in particular, my clicking finger, really starting to hurt. Anyway, the dangers of working on computers, I guess. Five, four, three, two. I'm going to leave you hanging there on one. One. I'll see you later. Where's the button? Hang on. Where's the button? Ah, right, here we go. Good night. Oh, hang on. And this button.